All right, Advent of Code, day 14. Here we go. Interesting. So these are points, paths, okay. Good. Mostly air with structures block. Distance to the right and distance down. Two straight lines. Ah. Source the sand. Sand is pouring. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> this is not gonna be good. Okay. Um let's do let's make a default dict. Um and so we'll do like one will be solid, and then everything else is going to be some sort of sand. So initially, every cell is just air, um, and then for s for colon, um, I think these are always going to be horizontal or vertical lines. So let's do uh, the x. Is equal to let's do ax ay bx by um, I need like a sign like si gn function period. So this is kind of what I need to do. Okay, um, and then solid and then finally at the end. Okay, so now we have a grid. And with 600 points in it. Does that seem right? Yeah, we have like 150 ish lines, 600 solid points. That seems fine. Um, okay, always falls down one step if, if possible. So the previous unit has come to rest, okay? Sand x and y is going to be initially it'll be like sand. Um, and what we'll do if okay, so the y okay, y increases as we go down, so we're gonna do See, what does it do? Down one step if, if possible, then it attempts to move diagonally one step down and to the left, then diagonally one step down to the right. So down, then down left, then down right. If all three are blocked, then it comes to rest. Okay. Um, so increase y by one, um, decrease x by one, increase y by one, increase x by one, increase y by one. Okay. Um, 
if we're blocked, then we're gonna make it two. I see, I see what it does. For the sand flows at the bottom. Okay. And let's see, what can I make the bottom? Um, let's do like, um, what is the largest Y? One seventy. So we'll say if uh, if our y is greater than if s y. Sorry, at this point, try this again. If s y is greater than one sig ninety. Actually, only one piece will ever fall, so we can be like very aggressive here. Um, okay, how many instances come to rest before? I'm going to try doing another method of counting. Um, what's this do? Okay, and if we're blocked, uh, if we're not blocked, we just keep going, right? That seems reasonable. Um, okay, how many pieces of sand have we placed? None. That seems wrong. Um, Oh, that's not good. If what? It's equal to zero. What's happening here? Oh, sorry, this is only if it's blocked. That was silly bug. Um, okay, cool. Rank 22. Realize you misread it. Is an endless void. You're standing on it. Assume the floor is an infinite horizontal line with the y coordinate equal to 2 plus the highest y coordinate of any point in your scan. Okay, I think that was 170. Is that right? Now what we will do, um, okay, so the max y is 170. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to say for x in range, um, we're piling from 500. It can be at most like a like a triangle, so we can go like minus 1,000 to 1,000 or something, and say that grid of x and max y plus 2 is going to be solid. Um, and now, it should take longer, but I don't think we need to make it more efficient. Maybe. Plus two. Um, maybe we do need to make it more efficient. Oh, this is like kind of annoying though. How many pieces of sand need to fall in the worst case? I mean, if we're filling everything from like 500 down to 170, um, that would be like 330, 330 tall by like, um, what? Also 330 wide. Yeah, this is gonna be kind of slow. I wish I had PyPy installed right now. Shoot, I don't think I do. Um, I will see if I have PyPy installed because I think that'll be much faster. What? Why does it? It finds it but doesn't find it? Oh. Uh. 
Okay, I think I do have it. Um, and we will do it on Okay, that is to be expected because I'm not putting the absolute path in. Just quickly go ahead and do this. Nums is not defined. Shoot. Um, Standard libraries, it should be fine. It might be slow though. Yeah, I don't know how much faster this is gonna be. Um, I am a little curious. I mean, this one's probably not gonna finish. How many things have we added? Um, and I think that like worst case. Times like 330. Um, I think it would just be 330 squared, right? Oh, okay. So we were like, how far off? Mm. Um, this is definitely not very efficient. I think this is probably fine. Oh wait, the stopping condition is wrong. Um, oh shoot, that was the problem. I think I already placed all my sand, uh, but like this will never happen. Uh, okay, so it stops when. Uh, so we say if um, if we are if we're blocked, if s x s y is equal to start or sand, break. Okay, so now we do this, um, and meanwhile we'll have PyPy do this. Okay, there's our answer. Rank 60. Okay, I still got leaderboard points. I was really worried because uh, I thought that, uh, like, once I realized that I, <laughs> the code wasn't just being slow, it had finished a long time ago, it just didn't have the proper finishing condition. Um, I realized that probably a lot of other people had finished already. Okay, um, yeah, I think that was that was not great, but I'm definitely happy to get still get 22 and 60. Um, that's, like, pretty good. What happened to my leaderboard position? I did fall by one. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I fell by one, but like I'm not far behind number ten, which is uh, Antonio. Um, whew. Yeah. Okay. Um, cool. So, what to say about today? Um, as far as commentary goes. Part one went fairly well. I do wish I had like a sign built in. Um, I think I'm gonna add that right now, actually. In my AOC tools. Um, I actually don't use almost anything in here except for the nums function. Um, but uh, I do have things, some things aliased. I just have never like really used them. Um, and I initially wrote them with like nice type signatures and everything. But okay. Um, but I think what I want to add is just going to be the sign function. Um, yeah, let's do sign x. Um, if x is less than 0, minus 1, 0, plus 1. This just seems like very useful for things like this. Um, cool. Uh, what else? So that was like a little bit slow to write. I think part 1 went well. Um, yeah, I don't remember having any big hiccups there. The parsing went well. That, that was pretty fast. I think that was good. Um, it wasn't like too hard to parse though. Part two, I definitely, um, I definitely messed up a little bit. Um, I don't know, like, I guess this does run pretty instantly, right? What is it, like a few seconds? Yeah, that's like a few seconds. So I think all the time I went looking for my, my PyPy installation was wasted. 
Um, all the time I was waiting for that, which is probably almost a minute, was wasted. Uh, I need to go back through and like watch um, to see like how much time I would have had. But like if this was eleven thirty-two, um, that would have been like forty-two. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's not a huge improvement, anyways. I, I probably would have been less than that. Um, but, you know, o overall, still a good day, I will say. Um, I think I probably need to average a little higher than that to finish in, like, top 10. Uh, but but not a whole lot higher. So this is, like, a total of, uh, what, um, 120 points? Yeah, so, so we can, like, do it 120 times... Uh, 25, there's like 3,000, um, and then we can just look at 2021. Oh, wait, did I do my math wrong? I had thought that, uh, what did I mess up? I had thought that like top 10, top 10 here is 27, 64, 50. It's only 50. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's 55 for each. That's 45 and 45. Um, wait, what did I get for, for this? Oh, I see. So you need, yeah, number 45 and number 45. And I guess this averages, yeah, okay. Um, I see. Yeah, so that's about, I, I guess so this is a better performance than, than I necessarily need. Um, so what did I fall then? I guess I just fell because like it just happened to be the case that uh, that Antonio did had like a pretty good day. Cool. Um, as far as explanation goes, um, today is basically an implementation day. Um, they give you rules and you write out those rules. Um, I don't know. I think like it's definitely like a little bit more involved implementation. Uh, but like this specifies like these walls, and then we have these rules about dropping sand. Uh, the sand just like falls until it can't fall anymore. And I think the rules for sand falling are set so that it'll like slide over itself and make this like pyramid shape. Um, but then there's like things in the way, so it'll kind of do like this. Um, yeah, and then the flowing sand is indicated like this. Um, yeah, and it just asks like how many units of sand land before before it's done. Um, and then part two says, oh, there's actually like an infinite floor down here. How much sand comes out before it like stops up here? Um, and the problem that I had was uh, I, my code was slow and I thought that it was just like, there was a lot of sand to pour and like it was gonna be slow um, and I should just wait for it to finish. But really it was just the case that my code was not properly handling the case where like when the, the source of the sand finally gets blocked off. But yeah, uh, overall, decent day. Uh, I am for sure happy with that. Um, yeah, that's uh, all I have for today.